In this lecture, I am going to tell you how we can create delete method AP endpoint in Node.js. I will create block delete AP endpoint. So let's open our block.out.js file and then let's add a new route for our block delete AP endpoint. Route method will be delete and URL will be our base URL slash block slash blog ID as a route parameter slash delete. And it will execute block controllers delete method. And this API endpoint should be protected. That's why I'm adding auth middleware to protect this endpoint so that a user needs to provide API token through authorization header to delete his blog. Now let's open our blog.controller.js file and then let's export a method called delete. Let's get request and response as a parameter to this method. And instead of this delete method, I'll create a new variable called blog underscore ID where I'll store the blog ID which is present inside our request URL as a parameter and we can get route parameter data with the help of request param subject and the parameter name is blog underscore id now I'll check is this blog id a valid mongoose id or not I already checked that inside our update method so I'll take the code from our update method and we can check an id is a valid mongoose id or not with the help of mongoose types object id is valid method and if this blog id is not a valid mongoose id then i will return a json response with message invalid blog id and if this blog id is a valid mongoose id then i will find the blog with the help of blog models find one method and inside this find one method we need to provide the condition incident object so i will provide underscore id is equal to blog underscore id and this will return us a promise so we can use async await or we can use callback method to get the data I'm using callback method to get the data and we'll get block data inside this callback method and we'll also get error message sorry we'll also get error data to this catch block if any error occurs and if any error occurs then I'll return a JSON response with the error data from this catch block and inside this callback method I'll check if no block found then I will return a JSON response with message no block found. So the message will be no block found. And this data will be blank object. And if any block found, then I will check is this block is owned by currently authenticated user or not. So first of all, I store currently authenticated user data to a variable called current underscore user and we can get currently authenticated user data from request user key because our delete blog API endpoint is protected so that an user need to provide API token through authorization header then only we can get currently authenticated user data from this request user key now I'll check is this blog is owned by currently authenticated user or not so I'll check blog dot created by because we stored user id to this created by field of our blocks collection so i'll check block dot created by not is equal to current underscore user dot underscore id that means this block is not owned by currently authenticated user then i'll return a json response with message access denied you can provide any other message as per your choice i'm providing access denied message here and if this block owned by currently authenticated user then I will allow the user to delete the blog before deleting the blog I will delete the blog image from this public uploads blog images folder so first of all I will create a new variable called old path where I will store the old path for the blog image actually I created that old path inside of our update method right so we can take the code from our update method and I'll paste the code inside our delete method so we can generate the old part with the help of public path global variable if I open our index.js file you see I stored the public path of our project to a global variable called public path and we are generating this old path for our blog image with the help of public path global variable slash upload slash blog images and then we are providing the image name which we will get from this blog object and then I'll check 
if this path exists or not. We can check the path exists or not with the help of FS library. I already included FS library inside our blog.controller.js file in the previous lecture. So we can use FS library here and we can check this path exists or not with the help of existing method of our FS library and inside this existing method we need to provide the path and if this path exists then I'll remove the path with the help of FS library unlink sync method and this will remove the image from the public uploads blog images folder okay and after deleting the image we need to delete the blog data from our blogs collection so we can delete the blog data with the help of blog models delete one method and instead of the delete one method you need to provide the condition inside an object so I'll provide underscore id is equal to blog underscore id and this will return as a promise so I'll use avid here and after deleting the blog data I'll return a JSON response with message blog successfully deleted so the message will be blog successfully deleted and the status code will be 200 now it's time to test our blog delete API endpoint from postman let's open postman and then let's open a new tab and then let's provide the request URL which will be our base URL slash blog slash blog id as a route parameter slash delete and API method will be delete and ok before providing a pay token through authorization header let's execute this endpoint let's see what we are getting ok we are not getting any response let's check I think we need to use async before this method because we are using await inside this method that's why we need to add async before this method right that's why we are getting some error messages in the console and we need to add async before this callback method also because we are using await inside this callback method now let's execute our blog delete endpoint again without providing any authorization token you see we are getting please log in to continue message because we need to provide a pay token through authorization header so we can generate a pay token with the help of login api so let's generate an api token and then let's provide the token through authorization key let's execute this endpoint you see block successfully deleted now if i execute our block details endpoint with the same id let's see what we are getting you see now we are getting no block found that means the block with this id already deleted from our blocks collection so our delete block api is successfully completed in the next lecture i'm going to create add comment api for a blog so stay connected